Hello everyone. So as you can tell, I moved back into my studio quite messily if I'm being honest. I just like brought everything, threw it on that couch. Still need to organize where it goes over here. But basically today I wanted to make a two piece. So yes, I'm ignoring the mess and I'm gonna make more. <laughs> but I sketched out this cool little like vest idea I had and like a pant combo earlier this morning. And I wanted to give a shot, give it a shot at making it. So I've also already traced out the pattern pieces I can show you guys. And honestly, pattern making is like one of my favorite parts of sewing just because you get to kind of create something from nothing, which is crazy. But we have the front piece where the pocket's gonna go, the actual pocket pattern. I'm doing these cool flaps that kind of look like bees. I guess upside down bees. They kind of look like bees, which I think would be really cool on the actual jacket pocket. So I have the front with the pocket and then also the back. And I'm gonna give it a yoke this time because the last time I made a jacket, the back stood up a little bit too much because it was so short. So I'm gonna see if a yoke solves that problem. I'm using this awesome, and this is kind of like my little sketch. I can't draw to save my life, by the way. But whatever, I don't have to sketch to know how to make. <laughs> but anyway, I'm using this really cool like zebra print fabric that I thrifted a while ago. It's heavier, it feels more like a um, like a heavier linen. I don't know if it's actually linen, um, but it is a heavier weight fabric, which I think will give the vest a lot of structure, which I'm really excited about. The only issues I'm looking out for are fit, just because I use the measurements from a bigger vest that I had on. And so that might be a little off, but we'll just take it as we go. But let's get started. So I started out by cutting everything out. We have our front pieces, pockets, both the back yokes. And before I cut out a lining, I went and sewed the back yoke and the back together, and then cut out the lining. This is everything pinned down and ready to stitch. I left the sides open so that way I could flip it inside out, as you see here. And then the next thing I did was top stitch everything so it'd stay in place before I attached it. I also put on the pockets and I actually should have put the pockets on first before I attached the lining so that way you wouldn't see the stitching in the back. It's okay, you live and you learn. Now right sides facing, I'm attaching the front to the back at the shoulder seam and the side seam. I actually used fringe seams for this, which is really cool. <laughs> oh my god, so I just finished the vest. Super excited about it. It's lined on the inside with just this random lime green that I found. That's the back with the yoke. Super excited on starting to cut out the pants now. Next, I used the pants pattern that I already owned to cut out some things. I had three pockets because I wanted an extra one in the front, plus the waistband. I went ahead and sewed all the pockets together, so that way they'd be easier to attach to the pant. Also went ahead and marked my darts in the front and back pieces and sewed those down as well. And once those were sewed, I went ahead and added the back pocket to the back pieces. Once that was sewed down, I also went and started to work on my front. You guys know whenever I work on a zipper on camera, it always does me dirty. So I went ahead and did this off camera and it was pretty simple. So I'm happy that that went well. Hey guys, so it's been a couple of days. Um, I had some other stuff to do because I'm making something for someone for the first time. Well, someone who's not related to me, so that's really exciting. But I wanted to show you guys where I left off on the pants. So I mean, I got super far. The last thing to do is attach the waistband because the pants are done. I even got my little extra little cargo pocket here. The back pocket's here, which look really nice. So the waistband is on, but as I was putting the waistband on, I normally use zippers that are longer than the actual zipper fly and I unzipped the zipper from the top. So it like came all the way off. So I was struggling a lot to try to put it back on and it wasn't working. I'll try again today, but if not, I might just have to take the zipper out, either do it again, or I'm thinking I could unstitch both sides of the flap and make this like a button fly and like add button holes here and then add buttons on this side. So I mean, we'll see what I do for right now. I have to clean. Oh, well, that doesn't look that messy, but I just need to organize all of this because it's a little too crazy and I can't continue with this until I feel like my space is clean. So that's what I'm about to do. And also for you guys who've watched multiple of my videos, if you remember the video where I made that two piece for my sister, 
I actually got to shoot it for her graduation. So I'll just insert those clips here because it, it really doesn't like suffice as its own video. But I also made a dress as well. So you get to see the two piece and the dress. Hey vlog. But we're shooting my sister's graduation photos today. And you guys are gonna see the, okay. <laughs> you guys are gonna see the outfit reveal from the part one video. All right guys, you ready for the big reveal of the outfit? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Just kidding, here we go. Very cute, I mean, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw it already. Now turn to the back, because that's the best part. We got the cute little buttons. Hold up, can y'all see that? Is it in focus? There we go, we got a little button snaps, and then even on the bottom, yeah, sorry. Even on the bottom, we got a little buttons. Very cute, I mean, tell me how I did down below. Let me know. Now it's time for the outfit you didn't even see me draft, the dress. I actually struggled a lot with this dress. Just because the fabric was one that I was not intending to work with. But here it is. And it's here. Here it is. She's trying to put her necklace on. But this is the dress. It's super cute. It has a little slit in it. Let me give it a little, a little up close. There's a little, uh, let's fix this. It looks a little wobbly on the side. That's better. It's a navy blue, even if you guys can't tell. And then you can turn around to the back. Got a little Georgia Tech blue zipper on there. A cute little button, collar that oh, was. She said, help me. <laughs> yeah, she was. So I've gone ahead and undone my zipper. So I'm left with like my little zipper flap. And then also this part and I had to unstitch this. The cool thing about this is that like your pants kind of start off like this before you even add your zipper. So if you don't have zippers or are intimidated by zippers, you can put buttons here instead. So like my dilemma right now is deciding whether I want the buttons to show on the outside or you could open this up all the way and put the buttonholes on the inside. So when it's flipped around like this and then sewed back down, when the buttons are sewed here, you can just attach them like that and then you won't be able to see them. But I kind of like the idea of the buttons showing. So I ended up going with the buttons showing on the outside. I thought it looked really cool. So I went ahead and measured an equal distance apart. For me, it was three inches. And then I sewed in those buttonholes. Using the buttonhole like machine or function on my sewing machine always gives me anxiety because I'm like, oh my God, what if I mess it up halfway through? Because that definitely has happened before, but I got it done. The next I went ahead and sewed the buttons to the little button placket on there. That wasn't originally intended to be that, but I'm glad that it worked out. That's the finished product. Super happy with the way it went. And lastly, I'm just gonna attach the waistband to the pants and hem the bottom, and then I'm all done. And just like that, I'm finished. The button front actually didn't turn out as bad as I thought it was going to be, so that's good. And it matches well with the vest. Had to move my mirror over to the light so you guys could see it. <laughs> and honestly, I don't know where I'm gonna wear this to, but I just really wanted to make it, so all did. I love the little pockets. They're so cute. This little new addition, and then the back pockets look like <laughs> that. But yeah. I actually really enjoy this. It's so much print in its entirety. But yeah, I'm actually super happy with this and the way it turned out. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. You can subscribe for more fashion content if you want to. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys later.